Hi everyone, welcome back to Painting with the Artists with Melissa Bachima, hosted by the Wilwright Museum. And graciously, the paints are from the artisan from Santa Fe. So the last we talked, we talked about doing a sunrise effect and going into abstract painting without thinking. <laughs> so we covered our sunset rays that if you remember that we started off with, and we started going into a spiral effect. And then right now, the painting's more or less kind of starting to bring texture into it. It's covering a little bit here and there of the spiral effect that you probably remember. And that the colors I have on the canvas are green, red, orange, blue at the bottom with a mixture of white. And so let's get started with today's session. We are gonna be using more yellow. So if you can remember the last time I said that I like to focus on the bright side of being on positive side of life. And I like to continue out that theme throughout our painting session. And the two paint brushes I'm using today is gonna be a round head and a flat head. And there's gonna be different techniques with bow but for right now, I'm using the round head. I'm gonna add off with the yellow. I'm gonna start from the right here, from the red, and I'm gonna add and blend that into the red. So the yellow and red are blending together. And then I'm gonna add on this corner here. So the best part of abstract is, again, getting out of your mindset and just Connecting one-on-one -on -one with the canvas and paint. I'm gonna add yellow in the corner here. And when you really think about it, the more and more you paint and get into that mindset of out of mindset thinking, it starts to feel more therapeutic. And that's what another thing that I like about painting is again, getting out of your mindset and just you know, letting that brush flow and refreshing the mind more or less. <laughs> so I'm dabbing a little yellow at the bottom here. So again, going into that flick of the wrist kind of texture motion that you kind of see. So I have yellow, red, orange, green, blue around the corner. Now I'm gonna use I'm going to put that brush down. I'm going to use the straight flat head here. And I'm going to add green. And I'm going to show you what this painting is going to start turning into. So I'm going to walk back over here. I'm going to get the green. I'm going to get my brush all up in that green. And I'm going to start licking, click, 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 here and there. So again, going back and forth with my hand motions, adding that green in, all over on the sides here. And I'm gonna make one more judgment call. So again, I said it's always good to take a step back, look at your canvas and figure out, okay, what do I want this to be? So I am gonna add a little bit more purple. I'm gonna pick up the round hair brush and I'm gonna go with a lighter um, purple pinkish color here. Put that onto my palette and I'm gonna add that in. So I'm gonna do a slight motion flick of the wrist inside the metal canvas, blending that in. So if you can remember the spirals that I put on here, it's okay that you know it's being covered over because it is really just kind of for fun, you know? 
that you, you can add spirals, you know, squiggly lines onto the canvas until you figure out where you are going with this canvas motion. So I'm adding more purple into the middle. And then, so again, taking a step back, looking at it, everything looks perfect for right now. I am gonna add a little white into the purple, kinda dabbing it, mixing that color in, and I'm just gonna do a slight motion fill in the middle center. So looking at the canvas again, wondering if you can wonder and figure out what it's going to be. And I'm going to add in a little bit more. Let's see. Let's go with a darker red kind of color. Again, as you can see on the canvas, it's more or less turning into uh, different colors on there. And that's fine because again, with the color blend of the rainbow, focusing more on the positive side of life, and that's what we're trying to portray here. So I mix the, the purple, the darker set of red, into with the yellow purple. So again, just color blending, color blending. And the, the more and more you um, experiment with your color blends, the more and more you'll get better at it, and it really is just all about practice. Mixing those colors in. Okay, taking a step back again, looking at it. Now I'm gonna go back to my flat head brush, and I'm gonna dab a little bit of water. It still has green on there. And I'm gonna mix it with this blue that I have on my palette. And it's kinda gonna give me like a darker set of green here. And this is the trick. So once you take a step back, think about, okay, what do I like in life? You know, what, what do I want this painting to turn out to be? So I'm gonna start up here in the corner. I'm gonna go down where it's stroke. I'm going to start turning it. And it's really good to use a flat head when you're doing, you know, lines, you know, smaller lines, because it's really your tools. You really want to take a look at your tools that you're working with. You can work with anything. I even went to a stream where I used um, bubble wrap <laughs> as a texture fill. But we are today just gonna focus on the flat head brush. We're gonna start turning the brush downward and we're gonna start flicking it outward here and going back up from here, turning it inward, bringing it down. And as you can see, it's starting to give a little motion of I burn kind of feel. We're going to do another one here. Going down. Bring the head in. And if you can tell the colors of the textures of the rainbows that we used before are actually bringing out that feature of the bird. So here's a bird here. We have another one here. We're going to do one in the corner here. And the reason why I'm using birds is because I believe birds are magical. Birds are so magical because they get to fly everywhere, they get to see the world, and you know, their colors are always, you know, in a flight form, motion feel. So, in this picture here, the way I did my texture form, I believe, you know, that representing of the wings. So we're gonna do another one here. And you can, you know, have them set in different positions. It's really up to you, depending on how you see the form of the textures that you use. So I got 
four birds going in each corner. Now I'm gonna go back and rinse off my paint brushes. Remember, it's always good to rinse off your paint brushes. And I am gonna add a little bit more of the darker color of the red onto my palette. And I am gonna add a little brown mixed with the red. And as you can tell right now, I'm not really leaning on towards of the, the darker sets like my grays, my blacks, because we are trying to focus more on the bright colors right now. And you can always outline your, your paints, you know, the forms that you're using with um, the colors, you know, just again using that color wheel, mixing your colors. The blacks and the grays will come in later as far as fine detail work goes, but right now it's all about blending color. So I blended the red, the darker red in with the brown, giving it a more darker tone. And in the middle here with this bursting film that I have, I'm just gonna do a squiggly line down. There you go, just down. And you know what? I'm gonna add white into that. So we are going downward. And actually we are gonna be stopping right there. So we'll figure out what that middle form is gonna be. So tune in next time to find what this is gonna turn out to be. Thank you for joining us. Stay tuned for next time. Bye.